Hi Taurus, welcome to your angel card reading for the month of January. This is Mary and this is Leah Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Taurus, I'm taking a little bit of a different approach to this reading. I was doing a spiritual guide reading, messages from your uh, spirit guides. So this month I thought I'd try something different and do messages from your angels, guardian angels, archangels. So it's an angel card reading. Uh, I may or may not continue this series if you've watched my channel before. Uh, depending on how it goes, they're not getting a lot of views. So I'd rather do what you guys like rather than uh, doing readings that don't really um, go over well, even though I enjoy doing them. So you can leave me comments below uh, telling me if you would like me to continue these type of readings or if you would just like to see love readings and the single readings. I may just uh, do those bi-weekly and I also may eliminate the general readings also. I've been thinking about taking those two off for now, maybe in the future. Down the road, I may add them uh, these back, the spiritual readings and the general readings. But for now, I'd rather do what you guys would like to see and enjoy rather than what is not getting a lot of views or uh, watch time kind of energy. I mean, I do love to do all these readings and I would love to continue to do them. But if they're not going over well and they're not being enjoyed or watched by the viewers, then... Um, I may stop doing them for now. And with these spiritual readings, I had the idea of switching it up and every month doing a different theme. So one month it could be spirit guide messages, one month angel messages, one month, um, you know, uh, uh, earth messages, um, you know, sacred world kind of messages or uh, spirit, uh, spirit guide messages, rather animal guide messages or something like that. So I was thinking about, you know, switching it up, but then again, I may not do do these anymore. So um, I don't want to go on and on about that, but please leave me comments below and let me know what you think. So with that being said, Taurus, uh, let's get into your angel card reading, and I hope you enjoy this. So welcome, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, it's a long deck. Um, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas, a happy New Year. This will probably be out after New Year's Day. But Happy New Year anyway, still the new year. So let's see what's going on. This is the Guardian Angel Oracle, and we have the Archangel, Crystal Angels, and then we have the Tattoo Tarot. So I'm going to pull three Oracle cards from each angel deck, and then we'll clarify each card with a Tarot card, and then go over a few of the cards on the bottom of the deck. And then at the end, I'm going to pull one Angel Answers card. So while I'm doing this reading, if there's any question at all you would like to ask your angel team, your archangels, uh, guardian angels, whatever here. Any kind of question can be anything at all. Keep that in mind. Think of it. And uh, I'll pull one card at the end. It may give you an answer. It may give you just a message, guidance, advice towards your question. So we'll see what we get. So keep that in mind throughout this reading. I'm going to pull three of these, guardian angel. And I'll reveal them after I pull them all. So I'm going to do this first, and then uh, we'll go over all the cards. So that was a guardian angel. This is the archangel guidance. And then we have the crystal angels. So you can check the description box below. Uh, names of all the decks are below. A uh, lot of stuff down there, so please feel free to check that out. Um, social media links. Um, how to reach out for personal reading. If you'd like to send me mail of some kind or a gift, or if you like to tip or donate, all that information is below. So thank you so much for checking that out. And just a quick shout out and thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you to everybody who supported me in the channel, whether you've tipped or donated, reached out for personal uh, personal reading, sent a gift, um, just liked or subscribed or whatever you've done to support me in the channel. It's truly, truly appreciated. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you so much. So let's get, um, channel wouldn't grow and flourish without the viewers. So I could not do it doing that one without you guys. So thank you so much. Okay, let's see what we have here from the guardian angel. We have freedom. Hmm. Freedom, okay. And then we have protection. I may read a little bit uh, in growth from uh, the book for each of these. Just a little snippet. So so we have two of the blue borders here for um, these first two cards, which falls under, um, let's see, which angel? 
dwells on under Archangel Michael. So you may want to look into that angel. So let's do freedom first. So we have freedom here, which says, despite the constraints of everyday life, we all have free will and exercising it is, is, is essential part of our spiritual journey. Freedom can feel risky and involves your taking responsibility for everything that you say or do. However, turning away from freedom and staying within safe limits or letting anyone else control your actions or thinking will restrict you as a person. The angel of freedom shows you that you have a choice to act with love in life or react in fear. Trust your intuition. Ask angel. Ask the angel for the courage to follow your heart, to break, break free from restrictions and to soar high, acting out of love for both yourself and others. Take the opportunities that the angel sends and give thanks to her for help. So, you know, that is all about personal freedom um, and getting out of things that bind or stick you to something. Uh, personal freedom, freedom constraint from constraints. So let's see, we have protection here. So I, I'm feeling just whatever maybe you may be breaking free from, we all have the right to freedom in any way, shape, or form. And whatever you're breaking free from that is no longer serving you, uh, your angels want you to know that you are protected through this. So let's see, what do we have here for protection? In order to act effectively in everyday life, you need to protect your inner being. This ability to is even more important if you are engaged in spiritual work. To shield you from the negative energies of others, the angel of protection can help you to safeguard your physical, emotional, and spiritual self. If you feel vulnerable, for example, when facing a hostile person or someone who is draining your energy, or when traveling alone in a strange place, say silently to, uh, to silently or out loud, angel of protection, please be with me. Imagine that you are wrapped in a blue cloak or surrounded by blue light to protect yourself further. Do not take unnecessary risks. Trust that the angel will stay with you and give thanks to him. So just know whatever your situation here, if you are freeing yourself from something uh, that you are protected. And I think that growth card is whatever you're freeing yourself from. And I'm just noticing the shooting star right there. It's probably a divinely guided um, thing for you. And your angel team wants you to know that whatever you're freeing, free, fleeing or freeing from, you're protected through this. Ask for that protection. You may want to work with Archangel Michael. And this will bring you uh, growth, much growth in your life, your love, your life, your um, situation moving forward. So let's see. I'm just going to read a little bit about, uh, let's see what angel growth is under Archangel Raphael. So you may want to look into that angel. And let's see what growth has to say. Growth here says, as you progress through life, your experiences can increase and deepen your spiritual understanding of yourself and your place in the universe. Every loving experience feeds your inner being. Even suffering may help, may play a part in your soul's journey by teaching wisdom and compassion. The angel of growth advises you to attend to the spiritual progress, sit quietly and ask her to show you how to balance the needs of your body and soul so that you can find energy to aim for the stars. And I had mentioned the star there. If you already do, do a lot of therapy or other work on your inner self, the angel counsels you to pause and process what you have learned before continuing. Know that you are progressing at the right pace for you. So your, your growth, your spiritual growth, your personal growth is all a process here. And it may be a process of releasing and becoming free from something and know you are protected, but it will lead you in growth in the right direction for you, yourself, your personal being, your spiritual growth. Okay, let's see what the Archangels have to say. Archangel Ariel, courage. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Archangel Sandalphon, gifts from God. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Beloved one, Archangel Chamuel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So some of you may, may be on a soulmate relationship here. Either you're freeing yourself from a toxic soulmate 
or you're freeing yourself to be with someone you know is your soulmate. It, I think it's divinely guided. It's a gift from God. And it's telling you to be courageous, stand up for yourself, to free yourself from something no longer serving you. It's all protected here. And it will lead to this growth of you, your spiritual growth, growth of the soulmate. Maybe you feel um, it's more suited for you. And we'll see. And then we have here Aquamarine, Divine Life Purpose. Trust the signs in your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. So I feel like here, divine, this is a divine thing for you, what you're going through right now. Rubolite, Rubolite passion and purpose. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's near, that's dear to your heart. A lot of purple here. Oh, manifestation here. Look, all purple. Wow. Smoky quartz, clearing negativity, release negativity from within or around you. And I feel like over here, release, releasing that, giving you freedom, being protected through this for your own growth, your spiritual growth, your soulmate growth over here if you're connecting with a soulmate. All divinely guided, gift from God, having the courage to do so, do so, standing up for yourself. It's a divine life purpose, divine, um, divine connection, divinely guided. Have that passion and person purpose moving forward, clearing that negativity out of your life. So we got aquamarine, rubolite, rubolite, and smoky quartz. So if you work with crystals, uh, that may be something you may need to work with. And for the angels, we have Michael. Um, I forgot what that one was, the green. But we have Ariel, Sandalphon, Chamuel. I mean, we have a lot of angels here. And what was the green one here? Uh, let's see. Raphael. So, all right. So let's get some clarity with the tarot here. And don't forget about your question. I'll answer that at the end with one our, um, angel answers card. So I do ask Taurus if you like my energy, you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. Like I said right now, I'm doing four different readings a month for all the signs. I'm doing um, a spiritual reading like this, a general reading, a love connection reading, and a singles reading who's coming towards you. And I also just started a element energy forecast for a, the week. So it's a weekly reading. I may or may not continue that either depending on how the uh, watch time and views go. But, um, and also I may discontinue the general and the spiritual depending also. So again, you can let me know what you think in the comments below if you like to. If you do subscribe and hit the bell, thank you so much. All right, so let's get some clarity on these cards here for Taurus. Taurus. I'll go that way. And we'll go over the bottom of the deck. Okay, so. For, yeah, for freedom here. <laughs> You've been through something here. It's been a struggle. It's a battle. It's been a fight. It's been a long, hard uh, process here, trying to break free from this negative energy, just feel, making you feel battered up and bruised. Um, just a tough, tough journey here. And now you're ready to free yourself from this energy that is just like weighing you down, beating you up, fighting through it though, but knowing freedom is the best uh, choice for you here. Let's see, how do I want to put that? I guess I'll put it that way. And then we have here, Queen of Pentacles, protection. So just know as you gain your stability, your foundation, your basis, knowing your self-value and worth, being very grounded and practical and smart, moving forward, that you are divinely protected through this. And your angels want you to know that you are of a lot of value, worth, and you can regain your stability and your foundation, like I said. And you are protected by your angels at this time. We have a lot of different angels here. So I feel like you're heavily, heavily uh, protected through this process. Because we have five different angels here. So, and we the only repeating ones were Michael. So that might be the strongest angel for you. So we have, wow, we got now the King of Pentacles growth. So King and Queen of Pentacles. So, and this may be a soulmate union you're going into because we have a matching couple. So, because over here we had soulmate relationship. So if you're heading to a new soulmate, definitely here with the King and Queen of Pentacles that showed up. Queen was over here. Definitely a soulmate union and growth 
growing towards possibly that divinely guided soulmate who is also very grounded, secure, and stable uh, kind of energy. Very abundant growth. Growth is all about abundance, growth, um, prosperity. So got the king and queen of pentacles. That's good energy and also your energy. I Maybe this other person's energy also. Wow. Okay. So now we have here courage, Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. And we have the eight of wands. So that is about communication, being very fiery and passionate about it here and having that and the fire energy is all about that create being courageous strong and brave being fiery and determined and the one eight of wands is all about that fiery communication travel taking action movement very quick paced here and standing up for yourself and communicating that and then over here we have gifts from god archangel sandalphon we angels bring you gifts from your creator Open your arms to receive, and then we have the world. So the world is about, you know, changing, uh, closing out cycles and new cycles, and I feel that energy here. But the world is also about travel. It's about growth, expansion, new things, starting of new things. And I had felt this is a divinely guided new cycle for you, and it's a gift from the divine. Well, there, there will be a lot of growth and abundance. Beloved one, Archangel Chamuel, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. And also can be just a, um, a soulmate relationship with the spirit world, the archangels, or it could be a new soulmate. Three of Cups. So coming together, uh, reuniting, rejoice, and celebrating. Now this deck has two Three of Cups. One's in black and white and one's in color. So you may not... Um, you may be seeing this uh, soulmate relationship or reunite, reuniting just in black and white. Maybe you're not seeing the full color, the full potential of this possibly coming into um, fruition. Right now, it's kind of like in a dream state, kind of maybe in a 5D connection or, you know, not really thinking it may be possible because you see like the faces aren't even really drawn here. It's just black and white. It's just kind of like a, a sketch. It's not really a full uh, depiction of reunion coming back together so you may not be seeing that uh, clearly like it may actually happen but Archangel Samuel is helping it so divinely connected here angels are trying to make this happen for you so now we have aquamarine divine life purpose trust the signs in your inner guidance which are la leading you to fulfillment wow we got the page of Pentacles so this is uh, communication. This is something solid, stable coming into you. Um, it could be career, finances, um, learning something new. You could be learning your new divine life purpose here, taking a very slow, practical uh, approach, uh, being analytical. But it is, Pentacles is all about long term. It's uh, grounded, it's secure, it's stable, something you can trust. So whatever news is coming in or whatever you're, going to you know pages about learning it's young it can be youthful energy it can be in the beginning stages so whatever you're starting out here this could be the divine life purpose for you and uh could be long term here and something stable so here we have rubelite passion and purpose your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart Passion and purpose. Two of pentacles. So trying to figure out maybe what your purpose is with the two of pentacles is juggling around energies, ideas, uh, finances, things in your life. But with the passion and purpose, I think you're trying to figure out juggling around ideas. What is my passion? What is my purpose? What do I need to concentrate on? What do I need to do? And it's kind of like relating over here to this pentacle here uh, with divine life purpose. So I think you'll figure it out because you got the page there. So that's, you know, taking that step forward to either learning something new, going back to school, good news coming in, you know, reaching out for something that will be long term. So you have smoky quartz, clearing negativity, release negativity from within or around you. Eight of pentacles. So working, we have a lot of pentacle energy here, which is about career, finance, mon monetary or is it just working on yourself, working on your career, working on a new path, um, working on clearing negativity, things that are no longer serving you. 
and freeing yourself from that energy over here and just really really concentrating on that working hard on that clearing the negativity from you your space what's around you so that you can move forward in life whether it's you know a new spiritual path a new career uh, a new relationship freeing yourself from something no longer serving you being protected and having a lot of growth from moving on from that bottom of the deck here so we have the five of swords so you see this person like leaving leaving something here no longer serving them you know leaving the ego behind leaving the negative energy behind you know feeling defeated and like you know it's just a lost cause and walking away from it page of swords so very open honest communication here um again could be learning something new online here with the page of swords or spying i'm not getting spying on someone but you know could just be using that sword to cut away things no longer serving you having that open honest communication as you leave a toxic situation seven of wands again being courageous here standing up for yourself fighting for it moving forward i just want to see what is under that so yeah death transforming out of something leaving something behind it's over it's done and, and just moving on from that no more no more standing up for yourself truthful communication cutting away those things no longer serving you walking away from this uh toxic energy here of ego deceit or you know that kind of energy or just feeling you know it's so defeated it's done it's over it's just no more all right so taurus let's get an answer uh guidance message for you for your question whatever your question is that you'd like to ask your angel team at this time whatever it may be it can be about anything your heart desires it can be about love life career finance anything or just if it's a question about past over loved one question about your angels you know are they really with me around me protecting me at all times you know whatever ever you want to ask so let's get one card for taurus okay so we have there's something better exactly and i had felt that energy with um and yes on the bottom of the deck so yes there's something better so whatever your situation you're leaving here that you feel like you need freedom from uh there is something better and yes and i feel like you need to go go towards that new energy whatever it is for you well taurus okay sending you many light love and love and blessings best of luck to you and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light